Ahoy you scurvy dogs! In today's video, it's a bit different than what I normally do. Recently I had an encounter with Sharpie where we were chasing down a sloop that had two reaper chests on board and I wanted to break down with you a step-by-step -step PvP walkthrough on how we went after and stole this sloop's treasure. Ahoy mateys! Alright, so in this adventure we're gonna pick up right after we noticed a sloop getting two reaper chests on the map. So obviously being the scurvy pirates that we are, we wanted to take all of their treasure. Now the one mistake that this sloop made was they allowed us to close the gap distance between our ship and their ship before they finally decided to drop their sails which made us able to get super close to them and within boarding distance. So this is where I decide to make my move. I see that they're coming, we're turning left, which gives me a perfect lunge opportunity to board, and I go for it. Now the mistake that I did here was I did not lunge leading the ship. I should have gone a little bit to the left so that I would have caught up to them and not gone underneath their ship. I also noticed that if I would have stayed on the ship, I would have been able to board just simply by jumping off because we ran them. As soon as I saw that, I decided to swim away from the ship so that I could get a mermaid. And as you can hear, Sharpie is panicking, but I am not. I'm keeping my calm. As soon as I get back on the ship, the first thing I'm looking for is the pirate that dropped the anchor on our sloop. Now I don't see him, and I don't want that sloop to get too far ahead of us. So I go for the pickup of the anchor. Now I was at risk here because I never knew if the guy was going to come around the corner and blunderbuss me in the back of the face, but it, it ended up working out. And weirdly, I didn't I didn't see the pirate anywhere. So I decided to start fixing up the ship, and that's when that's when the pirate came out of nowhere and started to attack me. Now. In a situation like this, my health is low, I'm going to keep my distance and maybe throw a lunge in. And Sharpie, being the great star of the show that she is, she was able to come down and kill it. Now, I know that one of their crewmates is down on this duo sloop, which means we have the advantage here to catch up to them. If we keep someone on the sails the whole time, managing the sails to catch wind, we will slowly, very slowly gain ground now i'm coming down here to make sure i have all the food that i need just in case i get a board opportunity i am prepared for the fight and i go back up top keeping an eye on where they're going now being behind their ship like this it really puts you at a disadvantage the disadvantage here is it puts you in boarding position for their sloop they're able to easily jump off their ship whether it be through a lunge or just secretly jumping off the front of their ship and they will be able to board. So if you're ever chasing a ship similar to this, you want to make sure that you're keeping an eye on the seas. Because what you'll see is a little bobbing head possibly, you might hear some swimming, but in this case I'm just keeping an eye. Now, I believe earlier I heard a mermaid, which kind of gave me the hint that this guy is trying to board, and it looks to me like he missed. So I'm going back to the helm, making sure Sharpie is on the sails, adjusting for the wind, so that we can continue to close the gap. Because if you notice, the enemy sloop is not doing a great job at keeping the wind in their sails, and we are slowly, slowly gaining ground. Now right there I just noticed that I saw a pirate swimming, so obviously I'm about to tell Sharpie here to look for a border, and I go to the front of the sloop to see what side of the ship he goes on. So I'm thinking it's the right side here, but I don't see him, and neither does Sharpie. I look on the left, and it appears that this person missed his board. So we go back to focusing on the sloop, and if you watch right here, they do a pretty good maneuver to try to get away from us. They're using the rock, and they're going to harpoon the rock to do a sharp turn. 
So we're going to keep chasing them around the rock. I'm having Sharpie maintain our sails to make sure that we keep catching wind. And I'm going to go to the front of this sloop and shoot the rock and do a harpoon turn. Now, I'm about to notice again that they're about to board. So if you look at the back of their sloop, you see the pirate there and he brings out his sword. He's lunging and he's going for a board. So I'm going to make sure that we're prepared for this guy without running into a rock. So he's on the right side here. We hear him. I tell Sharpie and this pirate doesn't stand a chance. Now here's the moment where I'm making a decision. I'm thinking about using the cannon to board the enemy ship, to shoot ahead of them and to board. So I have Sharpie come take the helm. I jump down to the cannon and I start to pick the angle. Now as she's turning, I'm having to make sure that the cannon is gonna shoot in front of the ship with the angle. So it's an ever adjusting angle. I adjusted accordingly and I was able to get a almost perfect cannon shot. It put me right in position to board, and with that one pirate getting knocked off their ship, there's most likely only one pirate on the board. So the first priority in a situation like this is you want to get the anchor down. Now, I'm getting, I'm getting wrecked here, so I'm kind of going to run away, get some food, and get myself, get my bearings back. Now, if you notice, I'm making sure my flintlock is reloaded, and I get this amazing, amazing no-scope shot in the air. Oh my goodness, and as you can tell by my excitement, they not only had reaper chests, yes. but they had a ton of other treasure. Now, something that I want to point out here is the importance of working together with your partner on a duo sloop. This whole time, Sharpie was positioning our sloop to get cannon shots on the enemy sloop so that we could start pelting them with cannonballs. Now, I'm starting to prepare mentally for when these pirates come back. I'm kind of looking around. I'm putting myself in a position to kind of see all the spawn areas on the ship. And I noticed that one came back. And I always start a fight with a flintlock shot. It gives me the opportunity to get them down to 50% health, which only needs a three-hit combo with my sword after that. And I'm kind of making sure that the whole time I am not being boxed in underneath the sloop. Something that I notice people make a mistake on often is when they're fighting in combat one versus more than just one person, that they go underneath the ship. This puts you at a disadvantage as a single person on a ship because you can get yourself boxed in which means that they have an easier time of getting you cornered and then slashing you or shooting you to death. Well, this kind of concludes a adventure that we had. I wanted to kind of break it down for you and show you guys how we went about going after this sloop and stealing all of their treasure. This is the first type of video I've done like this. If you guys would like me to do more videos like this where I just kind of take you through a step-by-step -step guide on how I go after, what I'm thinking, what's going on in my mind, chasing down a sloop, let me know in the comments below. And honestly, guys, let me know how I can improve these videos if you do like them, the types of things that you guys would like to see. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you for hanging out. Like I said, I know this is a bit different than the videos that we normally do, but I hope you liked it. And if you do, I plan to do more.